Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so today's episode, we're going to go over what I've been doing over in Discord. So if you haven't yet, go follow over on Discord. Link's down below. I do a live streaming over there. Uh, do it in Discord, so nobody has to do with commercials. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just go hang out over there in Discord. So, here's where we're at. Um, I like the idea of parking underneath, but it just seemed really tight and the opportunity to open it up and do something cool with it so yeah so this is what i'm working with um it's a little raw and under construction but this is where it is so i'm carving out it goes down a half a block below this so about that far and then uh it's going this way you can see the drill and fill is coming into here and then it's also overlapping into our sub base that already has been being built and then yeah so a ton of stone was being collected so I went ahead and added some lower floors so we come down here now I added some uh, uh, refineries assemblers they're linked with gravel separators to keep up with all the refineries I got added. So at one point I was north of 30 million stone. So since I'm not stockpiling stone anymore, last I looked, uh, the refineries are the only thing they have stone. Oh, survival kits got some, but that's because, yeah. So yeah, all the stone is being funneled, it's being processed and turned into gravel, it's turned into its corrective or collective uh, resources. So if I look up iron ingots, on one of the containers I started sifting through, oh, actually I know, cargo 11. There's six and a half million iron ingots in this one container alone. That's not counting the other irons that are strewn about elsewhere. So yeah, like there's 200, another 293,000. So we're probably sitting somewhere in the neighborhood of about eight to nine million iron ingots alone. And it's not even, everything's not even processed. And we're still harvesting out stone. So these drills down here are doing what they're doing. These drills up here are doing what they're doing. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's hello. Ooh, hello. Uh, um, oh, wait, I'm right there. OK. This is why we make ladders to places. Tank. All right. Geocritical whatevs. All right, so I've had a few flyovers. You can see there's one right over there. We'll get to that here in just a minute. Uh, some of them came crazy close, like three and a half clicks away. I parked torque inside the bubble. So uh, once I see that our defenses can hold, I'll pull him back out. But I am going to take and probably make another bucket. And I'm going to chuck that bucket over in the bubble. So I have something to rebuild from. So if my base gets wiped out and I still live, well, there's no point in having a hardcore playthrough if I can't even build anything. So there's that. So while this does this, um, let's grab bucket and we're going to go explore because... That guy over there, I'm confident that he's crashed. He was at 13 clicks away and hovering. It, like, it wasn't moving away from me. And uh, then at some point it just moved and then it didn't move again. So I am pretty confident that it crashed over there. And if that's the case, that's a bunch of resources just sitting there waiting to be pillaged. 
We do have ammo. So the goal is going to be to get over there and pick off its turrets. Is it this side of the mountain or the other side of the mountain? There he is right there. All right, sweet. I'm going to ride from this view. Oh, I can see my feet. So we'll get about to a click out. And because we can shoot 1.4? Yeah. So we'll get to a click and then uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm afraid if I start shooting him, he's going to call for backup. Because that is a thing. Okay, that's annoying. All right. Um, I don't see a lot of turrets on it. We are inside weapons envelope. All right, do we shoot higher? We're gonna shoot high, so I'm gonna come down. What happened? What's going on? Why are... Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that camera wasn't pointing where we were looking. Oh, okay. So, let's do a little bit of this action. Give it some elevation. Oh, a lot more elevation. Okay, there's that turret. Let's take care of this turret. They're not even going close to where I'm aiming. Oh, look at those ion thrusters on the back. Holy cow. Why am... Really? Boom. Scored that hit up pretty good. Okay, I'm not seeing... I uh, see two more turrets. There's one right there. There's one right there. Let's see if we can land this one in there. Just missed. Why does it only look like we're shooting one turret? Seriously, it only looks like we're shooting one cannon. Come on, get in there. I think that turret's good. The entire ship just rocked there a second. Oh my gosh, come on, Havoc. Oh my goodness. If he had a bob, he could have rebuilt by now. Let's try right about there. 
close. I still don't get how... Let's try making a group here. Hold on. Main cannon. It's already got one. Okay, so G. Get rid of that. Groups. Shoot once. That's what I'm talking about. Except for my volley isn't even close. I need an elevation ticker for uh, that did it. Not even close where I wanted that. That got it. All right. Coming in on the rear. Oh, 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 oh. Missed. Oh, missed again. Crikey. Come on. Okay, so I aimed at the yellow, I missed, so we're gonna come up higher than that. I think I got it. Interior turret right there. Say about here. Nailed it. Oh. All right. Ooh, that's a lot of resources. Holy cow. Uh, uranium, platinum, all the things. All right. If I get close to just warheads. That is totally possible. All right, Bob's are on. It's probably upset that it's being ground on right now. Some of these have a AI programming box. I don't know how to describe it, that when they start getting ground on, they just start like death rolling, like an alligator would do when it gets hold of its prey. So... Um, yeah, that could totally be a case and might actually still happen. So, okay, let's check on what his priorities are. Uh, welding, grinding. Power priority. Uh, functioning guns. It's number two. Actually, functioning guns would be number one. Um, power and then thrusters. Car containers. Okay. Because if he doesn't have power, then nothing works. That's the way I see it. Nice little docking spot here. 
as it rolls, that's a bad idea. And I get closer, more likely to take uh, damage if it blows up. Oh, um, good time to go over the fact that the docking legs have been upgraded on Bucket. A little bit more use of strut and beam to give it a little bit more uh, panache. And a new paint job as well. Went with a dark black. Really liked how that looked, so kind of stuck with it there. Nervous to uh, find a turret I haven't found yet. So when it rolls to the right and uh, just takes out Bucket's nose. Hmm. Think I need to. mark this because I'm going to want to come back to this right so if his antenna goes down for whatever reason I need to be able to find my way back here I'm nervous about uh, getting out and helping because the interior turrets might be set to person and if that's the case then I could get one-shotted and that'd be the end of the series and I don't want that to happen yet. I'm trying really hard to make this series last. <laughs> Adds AI to the game to make it harder and more likely to die. Ay ay ay. So, we got anything good in here? Let's see. Ooh, plethora of thruster components. That's nice. I already had that uranium. Oh, 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 it's moving. It's moving. Oh. Uh, that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> Alright. Well, I feel relatively safe. As the warhead goes off and... Rips everything in half. Uh No loud banging noises, please. <laughs> this thing's massive. It has hanger pods on the side. That's so cool. Look at that. That's such a cool layout. What does it say on the side? Oh, it says offline. Because I took all this power away. Oh, wow. This is awesome. This is a really good lucky find. His misfortune has become our fortune. Because, yeah, this thing, it hovered out here. Um, I, I have no idea how long. Probably about an hour. Because I streamed over on Discord for a good minute. So this guy hovered out here for like an hour. And then I looked over and it was at a completely different distance. And it was like even with the horizon. So I'm like, he crashed. Um, he ran out of something. And I'm going to guess he ran out of hydrogen. Because when he flew over, we took a bucket and looked at it. And there was like a ton of hydrogen on this thing. But, uh, yeah, nope, not no more. All right. Ooh. This is one of the advantages of doing the um, uh, AI war or something like that. There's one where it's uh, the, all the hostile, whoa. 
all the hostile AI stuff can fight against each other. And that mod's awesome for the sake of that. Oh my goodness. Big dreadnoughts and corvettes fight each other, and you can come along and pick up the pieces, <laughs> pick up the scraps. Here we go. A bit of fun. Maybe. Yes. A bit of fun. <laughs> All right. This should be safe to be around now. This area is off limits. Failure to comply will result in hostile responses. Meh, that's fine. All right. You can see there I did a couple weather clears because we we're trying to look at something underneath that uh, overhang on the base that we we're building. And the fog rolled in so thick, just could not see anything. Like, absolutely zero visibility. I was like, this makes for horrible streaming. So, whoa, I thought you were stable. So I was like, this makes horrible streaming. So I ended up clearing the weather. I had to do it twice, actually. The fog was absolutely horrendous. Oh, oh, oh. Holy cow, he's big and very, very close. Actually, I think that's the same thing this is. So inventory, how much cannon ammo do I have? Um, not a Oh, there we go. We have more here. <gasps> oh, I thought that right nacelle was going to come up at me. You know what? Let's come back to this. Let's go poke this guy with a stick and see what happens. As you can see all that hydrogen right up the middle. Well, just out of range. Did I miss? I missed. It's close. Not close enough. Hit him that time. Oh, no way. There's no way I took out all those hydrogens. Or am I just out of range? Did I just rip right down the middle of his hydrogens or something? Because he's going down. Bad shot. Oh, we're chewing through ice like crazy, though. Missed. Good job, Havoc. You missed. Oh, 
I'm gonna get right in that spot, right? Oh, we're out of ammo! No! <sighs> so much for him going down. Because he's definitely not going down. All right, let's buzz him. See what our turrets will do. Oh, <gasps> we're getting shredded. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. And my projector's turned off because I was doing work on this shit. <laughs> Oh no, no, I made changes, no, uh, wow, he shredded us, holy cow, well, guess what? That sucks because uh, I did a Havoc thing and I didn't blueprint. So, yeah, I have to go back and repair. Uh, all right. But guess what did happen? That container held. Oh, there's a security outpost. Holy cow. Where is it? Not for long. Oh, wait, we don't have ammo. Never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. So, yeah, that uh, container held. Um, that's pretty cool. So, site one's eight clicks this way. All right, cool. He's eight clicks over. <gasps> no, I'm going towards a boss fight. Mm. That was close. That would have been the end of me. Oh, you know what else is the end of me? I am running out of hydrogen. Get on the deck. On the deck. Get on the deck, on the deck, on the deck, on the deck. <gasps> We're close to hydrogen. Ooh, holy cow. How much ice do we have on board? Uh, we're low. All right, so with that, <laughs> we're gonna wrap up the episode here. Oh my goodness, this was a crazy episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, like I said, go check out, hang out over in Discord. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do so. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps the channel grow. And this is Havoc. Have fun. And keep gaming.